Hey y'all, it's me, Day Tomo, also known as Styles by Day and the Real Play Girl. So, as you can tell by this title, it's just gonna be a little Valentine's Day chit chat, get ready with me, whoop de whoop de woo, you know. So, yeah, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe for this video. Thumbs this video up. Make sure that you guys also follow me on all my social medias. And I'm also going to put my social media in the description box below with the link. So y'all can actually follow me with y'all lazy ass. And keep up with whatever I'm posting. So, yeah. Now, my hair is already done. The information on the wig that I'm wearing right now for today's video, Valentine's Day. Even though it's not Valentine's Day, we're going to act like it's Valentine's Day. Unless I post it on valentine's day i don't really know we're gonna see though but it's not valentine's day we're gonna act like it's valentine's day but if it is valentine's day happy valentine's day babe i'm gonna just get straight into this makeup real quick though i really don't know what i want to talk about for today's video because i don't really want to get too deep into relationships and stuff but i mean why not it's fucking valentine's day right i never really had like an actual valentine's my whole life i probably had about two good valentines but other than that no that she did i never really had the whole big shebang you know the whole chocolates and big teddy bears and shit like that you know so it's like i don't know whenever it gets around this time of year i'm not i never been like a debbie downer ass bitch because I, I really don't care you know like if i have a lover i have a lover and if i don't i don't i ain't tripping you get what i'm saying me personally i'm a it is what it is kind of person so nothing really phases me to be honest but on the whole me not having a valentine's or a boyfriend or whatever y'all probably like what like you deja don't have a boyfriend i know like I know. Not to sound crazy or stuck up or what's the word? Delusional. Nine times out of ten, it's never me. <laughs> when I'm in a relationship, like I'm it seems like I'm always the chill one. Like I don't be all where you at, who you with, what you doing. Like I'm not that type of person. So like do what you do, have fun, call me when you get in type shit. Like I'm not I don't like being on people's dicks and shit, like, you get what I'm saying? And then I feel like I don't really have boyfriends because I'm the type of, I'm really trying so hard not to cuss y'all because I really cuss a lot. I'm the type of female that's like, let them come to me, I don't go to these niggas type shit, like, I'm not the type of female that be sliding in niggas DMs and shit and uh that who wrong whoever really trying to mess with me they gonna try to get at me like you know but i'm not the type of female that's like hey how you doing da, 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 da. uh and even if it do get to that stage where we are talking and texting and stuff i'm not gonna be all down your throat like that's just not me like i don't like doing too much because when you do too much with these niggas they get too comfortable like no, you gotta let these niggas know that they spot not secure. These boys, these young men, they be getting too comfortable. And I feel like that's why relationships nowadays don't really be lasting. Either the girl gets too comfortable or the boy gets too comfortable. I'm not gonna just make it one-sided, you know, like make it seem like these females don't be doing nothing because some of these hoes, they be scheming. But people be getting comfortable. I'm gonna give y'all like a little short story time we're not gonna say no names and we're gonna keep everything in this video anonymous because ain't no free promotion bitch ain't no free promos bitch i was talking to this young man for a very long time like we we started off as friends i was just always friends on this nigga like always friends on this nigga he always wants to be my boyfriend but i was like you know i don't date friends like I don't like mixing business, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that shit weird than a bitch. I don't date my friends, period. That shit weird. And it's like, I don't date my friends because I don't want our friendships to be messed up with emotions and shit. Like, y'all, my hand's shaking like a bitch. What the fuck? I'm gonna be all shaking and shit. I strictly tell him I don't date my friends. 
but I gave this young man the benefit of the doubt and I was just like, why not? That's where I fucked up. We were dating for like the longest, like the longest. Everything was just fine. Like everything, like we never argued. And I take pride in that when I'm in relationships. Like I don't be arguing with these niggas. Like I just cut shit short. Ain't nothing to really talk about. Like if we can't be, if we both can't be adult and mature about the situation, I don't want to talk. Like, I'm not finna be arguing with a nigga. I don't be arguing with these bitches, so what am I arguing with you for? When we broke up, it was just like, there was no good reason for it. I really wasn't tripping off the shit cause not on a conceited shit, but like, do you know who I am? I don't want it to come off as like, um, bitchy or overly confident. I'm secure with myself and I know what I'm capable of and I know what I bring to the table. So I don't want you guys to like think differently of me as I'm talking. Now my issue was this is where everything hit the fan. This is where shit hit the fan. After we stopped talking, he wanted to be cool, like friends or whatever. I'm a forgive but don't forget kind of person. So when he was like, let's be cool, let's be friends or whatever, I was like, sure, cool. I really wasn't tripping because we started off as friends, FYI. See, this is where he messed up at. I didn't know that he was talking about me, telling my personal business, just doing all this bitch made ass shit. Like, I didn't know that he was doing this, he was doing all this stuff behind my back while we were friends after the breakup friends. I'm a really loyal person and I'm always about my word. So when people don't have that same energy for me, I'm just like, dang, like all you have to do is just keep it real with me so I can know how to act accordingly with you. You get what I'm saying? Just keep it real with me and I keep it real with you. But it was all false on his side, you know? Bitch ass me. He even had females trying to fight me and everybody in group chats talking about me and stuff. And it was just really crazy. It was really ghetto. Couldn't even be mad, bro. Like, I, of course I was mad, but I couldn't even be mad because I'm like, I know everything on my side was genuine and it was good. So God gonna get you in the end, period. It's never me. Every time I'm in a relationship, it's never me. And then when I stopped talking to these niggas, they be a couple months later like, oh, I'm so sorry, Deja. Let's, I, don't, I didn't mean everything that I did, da 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 da, because they know they was wrong, bro. Like I said, I forgive, but I don't forget. So I'm over it. Moral of the story, these niggas weird. Everybody got a different definition of talking. When I say talking, I mean like just having conversation. That's talking to me. Ain't that talking? You having conversation. I like when a guy has goals and dreams. Me personally, I have a lot of dreams and I have a lot of goals. And it's a lot of things that I wanna do. So if I have a partner and they don't have no goals or anything that they wanna do, I'm looking at you like, get it together. I know we still young or whatever, but I just don't want to be talking to no bum ass nigga. Just sitting around all day and not doing nothing. He don't need to have a job job, but he needs to be getting some type of money. I don't care where it's coming from as long as he making some type of income. I like money. I don't know about y'all, but I like money. I like going places and I like doing stuff. So if you ain't got no money, I don't know what to tell you. Don't get me mixed up with a gold digger because that is definitely not what I am. I have my own money. I have everything on my own. I work for everything on my own. So I don't need nothing from nobody. I don't need nothing from nobody. I'm just saying, I want you to have your own. I got my own, so I want you to have your own so we can have owns together. <laughs> Miss Thang, I ain't no gold digger. I got my own shit. And I don't like asking people for stuff. Because when you start asking people for stuff, they like to turn stuff around on you and make it seem like you a begging ass nigga. Like, that's not me. So I ain't begging for nothing. I don't like when when girls have standards, it's like, it comes across like, oh, she needy or she bougie or she too, she too much for me. 
God should want a girl that have standards, if that makes sense. Guys can have standards all day long. They want a girl who not all out there. They want a girl who got her own money and stuff like that. But when a girl say something like that, it's like, oh, she a gold digger or she doing too much. I'm just like, nigga, what you want? A begging ass bitch? A weak ass bitch? Is that what you want? Cause you're not gonna get that. I guess it's called double standards. That's so lame, bro. How you gonna be like, she can't act like this, she can't act like this, but when it comes to a girl and what she want, she can't want nothing. More love story, these niggas weird. Other thing that I like is when a guy is real. My thing is I shouldn't have to ask for somebody to be real. That should just be normal for somebody to do you shouldn't have to ask nobody be real with me be real with me be real with me like no if you gotta ask them that mean they that's not possible bro i wouldn't say it's not possible but they just gonna do it on their own time you can't make somebody do something that they don't want to do that they're not ready for i don't know what it is my face usually be like really moisturized but now since it's like hella cold outside my skin, my lips, and everything just be dry in the beach. A few moments later. But yeah, this is the full look. Well, face and hair. So, real cute. Take me out on a date. Here we get. So, real play girl. Real play girl. Woo, something got in my eye. That's why I give trying to be cute. I think I already know what I want to wear because I was thinking while I was doing my makeup. So, I'm just going to put the outfit on and give y'all a couple suggestions. So, if y'all are going on a date, you know, kind of like a come pick out my outfit with me. So, here we go. Oh. So, Y'all gonna be seeing my room and stuff. Ooh, it's like we, we getting close, y'all. I like this. Okay, so I think I want to wear this Ed Hardy dress that I bought from Poshmark. It's so cute. My bad for the cords on the side and stuff, y'all, but this is the fit. So it's just this Ed Hardy long sleeve dress. Um, it's quarter sleeve and I got it from Poshmark. And on the back, it says Ed Hardy as well. And that's how long it is or whatever. We thinking about these shoe options, just my white Air Forces or these white boots. I love these boots so much. I got these from Pretty Little Thing. And I really don't know what purse I would want to wear with this because I like the white because it ties in with the white detailing this and the dress and the shoes as well. And then I like this one because it just brings out all the colors that's in the dress. And then I like this one because it's very simple. Um, vintage Tommy Hilfiger denim bag. And obviously it goes with it. So yeah, I'm gonna put the outfit on and we are gonna see what it's hitting for. Here we go. So this is what I will wear for Valentine's Day. I know you're probably like, not really Valentine's. It don't really scream Valentine's, but this is what I will wear. you want to wear the tennis shoes for like a more casual look that's cool depending on who your date is if you feel like looking cute for this boy i prefer putting the heels on like if you think he worth getting cute for put them heels on girl but if you think he just another regular dude throw them tennis shoes on now we ain't got time to be wasting our feet to be hurting and while we looking good and stuff you know Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your homegirl. Share this video with your homeboy. And um, thumbs this video up because we're trying to we're trying to run it up over here. I'm glad that you watched this video because you didn't have to watch this video, but you did anyway. So I just want to let you know that it was gladly appreciated. I hope everybody enjoys their Valentine's Day, whether if they spend it with somebody 
or spend it alone. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and my little advice and my talks with y'all, you know. I'm going to try to do this a little bit more often just so you guys can get a feel, a little feel on my personality. Make sure that you guys stay safe, have fun, stay blessed, and stay fly.